Hi, I'm Nan, Federal Affairs Manager at the National Taxpayers Union. Congress is back in town this week after a short break, and their schedules are already pretty full. In the House, on top of several bills to rename post offices, a very important taxpayer priority. They're also looking at H.R. 2824, Preventing Government Waste and Protecting Coal Mining Jobs in America Act. This pertains to disposal of mine waste near streams. And also H.R. 1459, the Ensuring Public Involvement in the Creation of National Monuments Act. This basically restricts the executive's ability to create new national monuments out of thin air and ensures that the people who live and work on federal lands are involved in the process. In the Senate, they're discussing S-2124, a Ukraine aid package that's full of financial aid, loans, and sanctions to help the embattled Ukraine. But there's a big part of the bill that people might not be aware of that pertain to the IMF and our relationship with that organization. In 2010, the IMF asked member organizations to double their quotas, and they also proposed rules changes to how major decisions are made. Together, these are a bad deal for taxpayers. It will increase our spending and give us less say in an organization that has questionable policies around the world. Probably the biggest issue this week is the fact that both chambers are looking at a March 31st deadline to ensure that doctors don't get a 25% pay cut when it comes to their Medicare reimbursements. This semi-annual fight is also called the Doc Fix. Um, both chambers have very different approaches. Some plans offset this additional spending, others don't. What probably will happen in the long term is that we'll get a short-term fix um, to what is a really long-term solution. At the end of the day, what we need is for the government to get out from between patients and doctors and to ensure that we're not overspending. If you want more information on this and other issues, check out our website at ntu.org.